Uh, it's rolling, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we just got started out here. This is my PB for sure. Compared to how big he is. Exactly. Wah! Dude, we can't tie on baits fast enough. They're hitting like freight trains out here. Let's get back in there. <laughs> What's up YouTube, we're out here bright and early. Kind of a windy morning, and a little cloudy. Thinking something moving might work. Actually, Christian just caught his new PB this morning. He got four and a half pounder out of here. That came on a chatterbait. It was kind of like natural color, or had, it looked like a natural color chatterbait, something greenish. And I'm gonna throw a black and blue because it's what I've got. But what I'm doing is testing out the new combo. The Fate Black rod with the origin reel. Uh, centrifugal braking, which I've never used before, so I'm probably just gonna crank it up and see what happens. And then I'm using 12 pound monofilament, and I think every other reel I have is just straight braids, so we're doing things differently this morning. I even tied a uni knot, so wish me luck. All right, let's see if we know how to disassemble a reel. What do I press this button or something? Oh, I think you just pull. Oh, a centrifugal or whatever, centrifugal? I don't know, I never used one like this. Oh man, how do you adjust this? Yeah. I'm just putting it on, I'm putting it on six, which I'm pretty sure is max. Oh, the reel feels interesting. Oh, on the Shimano's they're just clean and there's no logos or anything, but on this one, it's got these indentions, so you're feeling a little wacky. Yeah. Let's try and chunk this thing. Well, if the brakes are on max at six, they get some good distance, actually. On the Shimano's, the release button is higher and it feels a lot better. It feels a lot better holding on to this reel and casting the Shimano reels. I know there's fish in there. Oh, speaking of the drag, <laughs> that's not set. Yeah, we, we real loose. I think that's about right. Ugh. Perfect. Let's put her on four. Let's see what four is like. We got a pretty decently heavy bait on here. Should be able to get some serious distance. Yeah, she'll cast. See, the problem is you keep getting hung up on all this crap in here. Oh, there he is. Got him. Real brings him in like a champ, boys. First one on the origin. Woo! I just snagged the first one on the new origin reel. Didn't take very long, black and blue chatter bait. Just reeling it in nice and slow. Caught a solid uh, two pounder, I'd say. Right in the top of the mouth. Pretty exciting, man. Let's get back in there. Yeah, real slow. I mean, I think I was probably cruising along the bottom. Uh, Y'all, I forgot to mention too, I was throwing the Bandito bug as a trailer. <laughs> it's my first time doing that. I just threw the whole Bandito bug on this Z-Man, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nifty little idea throwing the bandito bug on the back end of your chatterbaits. Oh jeez, dude, it's raining this stuff. Oh my god, is it fall or what? <laughs> then your bait picks up all these things that are falling from the tree. Here's about my pace. In case y'all were wondering. And the wind is really blowing right now. And I see a lot of people who fish the chatterbaits and they'll do little pops like this or even like a long pull like that right there just to kind of vary it up. I just typically have good results bringing it in nice and steady and smooth. Whatever floats your boat really. One thing I'll, no I'll say though is if you do get stuff caught on your hook as you're bringing it in, like these things that are falling off the tree that are everywhere, and you give it one of those pops like this right here, you can usually free the hook. See, I just had some stuff on there. I could tell it wasn't swimming back right flung in a couple times and now I can tell it's got its cadence back to where it needs to be. Fall colors are really shining out here guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> forgot to take off the plastic. Stash that in the pocket real fast. There we go, now we got that good cork feeling. So look at this guy right here, size comparison. The skirt's about the same, but then the uh, tail end is a little bit lengthier, a little lighter in color. Action's gonna be a little bit different back here. The blade is a brighter color as well. So, 
we'll see what happens. Can I just check the action here? Ooh, it really flips and flops. Oh, this could be dangerous. I don't know where you at, man, always sleeping in. Might put old Hoggy down and try the crankbait. Never know what could happen. Okay, David just got here. Look at that. <laughs> Let's keep this gravy train rolling, man. That was on a wacky rig. A traditional like green pumpkin, probably Gary Yamamoto. I don't bring a tackle box, I just bring a jacket. <laughs> hey! I didn't know that was you. <laughs> Good. Oh, man. <laughs> he, he literally just got one on the wacky rig, but I'm sure that you'll get a big one too. Four or five. Fish? I'm just going to put up your line. Okay. Yeah, same to you. I want to catch something on this big old chatterbait. <laughs> there he is. Get you that crankbait. Eric just showed up, I snapped him and I said, dude, you're always sleeping in. <laughs> and then, then here he is. He's gonna throw the scorpion with the crankbait. We got all the chances to get a good fish this morning. <laughs> that would have been the first one on the chatterbait, bro. I'm telling you, they can't hold on to this thing. Dang it. Oh, I was just about to switch, too. I'm telling you, I keep getting little guys hit on this chatterbait, and it has a long tail. No! No! That's a big boy! It's a big one! Oh! Oh, that's where it's at. <laughs> you were just chilling sitting there. Tell <laughs> you know, the <laughs> crankbait doesn't do shit. <laughs> Scope that puppy out. Hooey. He is fed up. Look how small the mouth is. Yeah. Compared to how big he is. Exactly. I'm thinking three and a half. Dang. Three, four, three. Things just got exciting. They're over here. They're chilling. One just came off the hook on me. Did you see the one fall off on the... Here, what you got to say about that, Eric? We're just getting started. Uh, it's rolling, right? Here we go. Lights on, boys! <laughs> this is my PB for sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all thought it was over. Yeah, that's a football. 2.68. Stop, stop it. No, it's at 3.5 right there. <laughs> Oh, snap. As soon as that one came off the hook on me, it just like lit up over here. Batteries are dying. It's tough being the vlogger out of the group because we're switching batteries and SD cards while they're catching Mondos. David just got another one on the black and blue wacky rig worm. Let's see what this thing weighs. Three. Oh, he's three. Two, nine, nine. You have high, high hopes for a living. The blue worm is on point. He's caught the most recent three I think. <laughs> with the with a blue worm. Honey guys, fancy yeah. lures don't do anything. So on the Black Friday purchases. <laughs> <laughs> got the specials. I'm tying on a wacky rig, man. Screw it. We got the loose spinning setup. Rod is a 6'9 medium action fast taper. 20 pound braid on here with a, I would say this is like a six pound leader, possibly 10 pound leader for our wacky rig worm, so. We're wrapping things up, y'all. I'm not sure the fish count today, but I think we went off the chain on this one. David caught the most while he was here, but before he got there, I had the lead. One and done, baby. That big one got off the hook, so that's pretty much three fish right there. David broke his PB. Two and a half he caught today, and then three to wrap up the PB contest. The squad's all here. Let's put these rods in the car and get after it. Lunchtime, half shells. See y'all there. And the vlog's not over. I came over to the frog pond, which I haven't fished in a little bit, and it is looking real breezy, like windier than I've probably ever fished it before, excluding maybe once, I don't know. And I'm gonna see if I can't snag a couple before the day's over.
let's just grab the old chatter. And I think we'll start with that and be just fine. Okay. Let's slow it down. Slow it down even more for these guys. It's getting cold and I'm thinking they're a little lazy. Oh, I'm trying to get an Instagram photo and I had a bite. I bet you he's got it. Oh, no, he's got it. There we go. There's one. <laughs> I was wondering why he felt so small. Because he is. <laughs> I think, honestly, he was on there the, the whole time when I thought he may have been on there or may not have. <laughs> Gonna flay him. Because he's got to get... There we go. He was on there the whole time, for sure. Because I was getting... <laughs> I was trying to snap some pictures of the reel for Instagram, and I felt the bite. And I just kind of reeled it in slow. I just wanted to keep the line tight to see if I maybe had something. And I didn't really feel him, but I, I think it was just, you know, lightweight. And I don't know if I got my shot or not of the reel. But I can tell you, oh, oh shh, golly, we got another hit over there. We got another hit over there, back to back. This one is uh, tiny, but he's a little bigger. All right, we're up in the ante. This guy's a darker green. Oh, back-to-back -back cast. I'll tell you what, we having fun out here. That was tough. And the key is to just let it sit and they will come to you. Tugs, tugs and nibbles. Tugs and nibbles. There. Yep. This one's bigger. We are just yanking them out from over there, dudes. Oh. He's not really bigger either. Y'all are out today. This clip's only been rolling for 14 minutes on the GoPro, and I've caught those three. Let's see if there's anything right here in the corner. Oh, yeah. There it is. I might have just landed right on one space right there. That's a good spot. Oh, we got, we got, we got one. Oh, shit. He let go of it. Nope, he's coming towards us. I can't tell. Dude, I cannot tell if he's on. I don't think he is. Does a fish have this thing, yes or no? I literally cannot tell. Like, it is really moving. Let's just set the hook. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's the best. And I'm using this like six pound rinky dink leader. Four and 18 minutes. I'm sure there's hotter streaks out there, but this wacky rig ain't gonna do it for much longer. Guys, I think that about wraps up today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We caught a bunch of fish. Gear's gonna be linked in the description. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>